It's everybody's favorite snail, and his name is Bob, and we're gonna continue his adventure today. Hello everybody, I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Snail Bob 2, where Bob gets his money stolen by a weird mole rat king. But as you can see, we are continuing our adventure with the, the wonderful and lovely Snail Bob. And I'm very excited about it. There are some buttons that I need to press. I oh, I just took out the Mole Rat King. Sweet. And saved Robin Hood. And brought him all the money. Oh, and that's right. You have to collect stars and puzzle pieces on some of the levels. There's one star. I do not see any other stars, but maybe they're hiding behind stuff. So I'm going to turn Snail Bob around. And, well, actually, what does this do? Does this free Robin Hood snail? It does. Where's he going? He's... Oh my gosh! No, you're supposed to take from the rich and give to the poor, not give to yourself. I'm starting to think this Robin Hood snail is not such a good guy. It did just give me a tip, though. If you can't find all hidden stars, the magic brush can help you. Well, that's kind of handy. I did just spot the last two stars, though. I think they're behind these flags. Yeah. Okay, there's one, and there's the other one. So, <laughs> take that, game. I don't need your magic brush. Now, if there's a puzzle piece on this level, I don't see it. So, I'm just gonna move right along. And Robin Hood Snail is gonna drive away in his expensive-looking car. Oh, that seems bad. That seems bad. Bob! Bob! Just got eaten by a d weird... Lobster monster. Cool. That's fun. I, I guess I can tap it. Okay. I can tap it to make it go away. That's probably better than getting eaten by it. It's Gary the snail! Oh, and he was hiding a puzzle piece. Thank you, Gary. I, I also see a star down here. And I found the other two stars because I'm a professional star fi finder. There's one up at the very top of the screen behind the trees right there. And then there's one at the bottom of the screen. You see this weird looking lobster monster right above it. Boom. Right there in the cave. Okay, so we have to dodge this weird looking frog thing. I don't even know what these things are, but they're gross. And I don't like them. Okay, go, Bob. Oh, this is scary. Duh, turn around. Go. Leave. Run. He did it. He did it. Bob survived. That was very scary. Should we change Bob's outfit? I feel like we should. I feel like we should have a new outfit for every single episode that we do of Snail Bob. Depending on how many episodes we do, this, this could get expensive. But let's change his outfit for today. Okay, so I just unlocked every single outfit that Bob has access to, and these outfits are incredible. They're so good. There's there's so many options. I think I have to be Mario Bob Here this time go. because it is beautiful. So this is the Mario Bob episode, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's move on to the next level, shall we? What? What? What is happening? Okay, uh, lobster things. Okay, dodge the lobster things. Very good. Um, so we go into that log, and then do we come out the other one? Yes, we do. What do these bubble things do? No! No, Bob! Bob! Oh, this is a bad situation to be in. But I understand what I need to do. But I don't want to finish the level yet, because I still need to get the stars. And I see one behind this weird tree trunk that's, like, breaking off. And then I see another one right next to Bob. Look, right there, up, up at the top. There's a red one. And then there's the other one right next to the funny-looking spider in the cave. There, we did it. Okay, let's save Mario Bob from this nightmare that he's found himself in. There you go. All right. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so now he goes like that. He goes up. He comes down. And then we give him a little landing. And there you go. Level complete. Okay, where are you going, Bob? What are you doing? First things first. Stars. I see a star next to the spider. He's webbed it up. <laughs> and then there's a star right underneath the spider. There's a green star. Okay, and then a green star right above the exit sign. Look at that. All right, stars completed. Now we need to complete the level, and I have no idea what to do. Oh, there's a puzzle piece. Sneaky puzzle piece. Found it. I guess a good indicator that there's a puzzle piece on the level is when there's, like, a empty puzzle spot on the board. 
up in the upper left hand corner. But now how do these things work again? Oh, you tap them and then they just kind of follow the wall, I understand. So if I bring this guy over to the other side, now I have a nice little platform for Bob to stand on or snail on whatever it is snails do. And then we just need to move this one back and press the button. And then, oh, stop, Bob, 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 stop, stop. <sighs> oh, the maniac. He just wants to be like Mario. He wants to be the hero. And you know what? In my heart, Bob is a hero. Let's continue, shall we? Okay, he's gonna hit the bubble. And then we're gonna open the door. And then we're gonna close the door. There you go. Man, good job, Bob. Mario Bob. Plumber Bob, not in any way whatsoever infringing on copyright by Nintendo of America Corporation. Let's move on. <laughs> what is happening? This evil mole rat king is dropping smoldering lava. He's trying to kill Bob and I don't like that. But Bob's in a safe spot right now. I do see some kind of creature coming out of the ceiling and I hate it. Let's find the stars first. I see a star on the left hand side. Boom, got it. Star at the bottom of the screen. Very sneaky. Where's the third star? Maybe it's in the treasure chest? <laughs> it totally was. Okay. I understand video games. Now, can I move this platform? No, I can't. Oh, I can. Yes. Okay. So you turn this thing to protect Bob as he makes his way through this very scary corridor. All right. Let's make it happen. So I just need to turn this thing. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. Just his hat. It's all that's left of Bob now. It's so sad. Okay, so I need to move a little bit slower, I guess. So block that, and then block the bat, and then block the smoldering fire death! Oops, just gonna give that another try here. Okay, 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 yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There you go, you got a nice rhythm going. Bob, not the lobster monster! I didn't press it in time, and now he's dead. <laughs> the weird lobster thing is wearing his hat. Oh man, that's great. Okay, you know what? Just, just stop, Bob. Just stop for a second. Stars. See one on the left-hand side of the screen? Are these weird worms hiding a star? Yes. Of course they are. What about this bird? What are you doing, bird? I made the bird fly away. Okay, bye, bird. Oh, sneaky star. It's blending in with the sky. It's like right in the middle of the screen, sort of above that rainbow. Boom. Okay, let's continue Bob's adventure here. Um, go ahead, pass the lobster monster. I don't know what that thing is, honestly. I mean, it's, oh, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that, Bob. Okay, so we need to give Bob something to land on. So we'll do that and then we'll carry on. And then I guess we'll just turn Bob around and then, oh, oh, I see. He's gonna pop out of that trunk there up at the top of the screen and then he's free to go. Oh wait, no, stop. I haven't collected the stars yet. I forgot that you lose your stars if you die on the level. You have to recollect them. There, carry on, plumber Bob. Oh my goodness, are we in Shrek's domain now? This seems like a scary place to be. What's going on with this thing? Is this like insecticide? Oh, it is. Okay, so it knocks out the spider so that Bob can get by. I think I understand. I'm gonna move this platform off to the right. Just leave it there. And then let's get some stars. Oh, there's a star where that platform used to be. And then there's a star in the sun. And then I see another little stinky star right behind the curtain on the right hand side of the screen. There you go. Hello, star. There is a puzzle piece on this level somewhere. I do not see it. Maybe it's behind Shrek's weird poster. It was behind Shrek's weird poster. Good guess, I guess. All right. Now we just need to beat the level. Easier said than done, but I think we can do it. So get Bob past the spider. It, <laughs> oh my gosh. I was pulling the lever and it just, it didn't recognize it. I don't know. I don't know why it did that to me, but that's a very sad story. Gotta recollect all the stars and the puzzle piece. Okay. All right, let's turn Bob around and then we'll stop him on this platform and then we'll just Uber him across that gap. Make the dragon go away. Lizard, I don't know what it is. It's trying to eat Bob. That's all that really matters. And we've survived and unlocked an achievement. First 50 stars, sweet. There's a lot going on here. 
So what happens if I press this button? Okay, we got some kind of spring action. I think I understand. I also see some stars. There's a green star over on the left-hand side. Gotcha. And then there's a star right behind weird mole rat. And then I don't know where the next star is. But it could be hiding behind something that we need to move. So let's see. Can Bob push this thing that's, that's right in front of him? Yes, he can. Okay. And then what happens when we press the red button? I guess we're about to find out. So I'm going to spring the money. Oh. What? So Robin Hood Snail is back. Um, I'm going to press the button next to Robin Hood Snail. Oh, okay. That spawns him. So I think I understand what's going to happen here. If we turn Bob around, he'll drop down. Yes. Okay. And then he'll grab the bow and arrow and he'll shoot the mole rat. Yes. And then, okay. No, stop, stop. I still got to find the last star, Bob. Relax, man. But we did finish the level, so I feel good about that. Oh, there it is. It's right next to the weird picture of Robin Hood Snail. There you go. Okay, mission accomplished. Now you can leave, Bob. All right, level 119. We're going to go to 120. So two more levels. And then actually there's a puzzle piece that I missed in the previous episode that we'll go back and get. But first things first, we got to survive whatever's going on here. And it seems like there's a lot. There's something going on with this tree trunk near the exit. Yeah, okay. I had a feeling. I also see a puzzle piece right behind this stump. Hmm. So we can control this ant at the top of the screen. And we can use him to kind of help Bob get across this level. I'm not sure what to do about this beehive, though. Also, where are the other two stars? Oh, there's one right beneath the ant. Okay. And then what's going on with the ground in the lower left-hand corner? Okay, I just... I just, like, cleaned something, I, but there was nothing there. Oh, there's a star behind the B poster. Okay, got it. All right, I think I know what I need to do. So I need to move the ant onto the red button, and then I'm going to walk Bob across and stop him. And then I'm going to move the ant over to the blue button, and then Bob is going to press the, the yellow button. Yes! So that gets rid of the beehive. Then we go back to the red. No, I forgot I was standing on the blue button. I'm so sorry, Bob. So sorry. All right, let's try this again with less uh, killing Bob. So now we need to turn Bob around, get him off of that blue platform. Then we can go over to the red button and we need to get Bob right on top of the red button, then get off the red button, then give Bob a little Uber ride. Turn him around. There you go. Mission accomplished. And we got all the stars and puzzle pieces. All right, um, what's going on with all these skeletons? I don't like this. I see some kind of bomb icon as well. I do see all the stars though. There's a star behind the skeleton in the ground. There's one just to the left of where we started. And then there's another one kind of in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. That was, that was super easy. Now, what do we do here? I honestly have no idea. If I pull this lever, oh, I think I messed up, but I think I know what I need to do to beat this level. I think I need to feed this bomb to that gross, creepy worm monster. Okay, I understand. So let's get Bob out of this area, and then we're gonna turn him around and put him on the other side of where the bomb drops. See right there. Then we can drop the bomb, and then Bob will push the bomb to where the worm will eat it because worms love eating bombs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. All right. Get out of there, Bob. Mission accomplished. And that's another 10 levels completed. Okay. So level eight is the level that I missed the puzzle piece on. And it's honestly very easy. I spotted it right off the bat. It's just up here like behind these bushes or mountains there you go okay we got saved by robin hood snail with a bazooka awesome snail bob does it again plumber bob the real hero we've all been waiting for